probably heard about Blender. And as a Houdini artist, why would you even want to learn it? In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts about Blender. In the last few months, I did a job for a cream brand and they wanted to visualize their smoothness and richness and the texture of their creams. And in order to do so, we had to create this detail on the sphere. And basically, that was the first time I realized I needed another tool than Houdini. So currently I'm in between countries and away from my PC. So in the last week I started to learn Blender and I'll give you my thoughts about it and why I think you should learn it as a Houdini artist. Let's jump right into it. So even though we all love Houdini, um, for modeling things it's just not the best. If you want to sculpt, it has very limited tools and the same is just for uh, poly modeling. It's just not that great. Number two is sculpting is really great in Blender. You have many like easy sculpting tools. And like I said in the intro about creating nice rich creams, the Blender is quite easy. You can make these nice rotated, soft, creamy kind of looks like super easily with these sculpting tools. And you can smear things out and it's just actually a really, really fun, easy way of working. The third thing is Blender actually offers texture paint. If you UV unwrap your mesh, you can just easily paint on it. And it's actually a really, really fun way of working. It just makes it easy to fill in like a couple of details and, and something that Houdini currently doesn't offer. So the fourth point is that sometimes it's just a lot better to work destructively. So for example, if I want to edit this point in Blender, I could use proportional editing and I could just easily like drag this out a bit. And if you want to do this all procedurally, you have to set up a group and a fall off and it's just a lot of work. And sometimes it's just better to be hands on the model and just make some quick little tweaks. The fifth reason is that Blender has a really active community. So for example, when you look at Blender Guru, he has 1.8 million subscribers. So that's just a really active community and that can help as well. And then lastly, the development of Blender is just really, really, really rapid. And I think this is due because they're open source. But if you see what they release, in every update it's a lot of tweaks and then also how quick their releases are it's just very very promising that you know in the future they uh, have a big chance of overtaking many other 3d applications just by their rapidness of releases that's it just six quick tips why i think Blender could be useful to you as a Houdini artist. I'm creating the Netherlands without a PC, so what else to do than learn some new 3D software? If you're a bit bored like me and you need some inspiration, please watch the video here. And thanks a lot for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.